Good morning. It's now like 8.25. I'm about to get up right now and get ready for the day. I have a um, OB appointment today. Eliana is still resting. So we'll see how everything goes today. Me and Eliana are now out the house, so I have to go get in the car. We are now at the doctor's office and waiting to be called back. So, let's see. Let's wait it out. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank everyone. Thank you. Yep. Oh my gosh. We are now about to maybe get a cervical exam. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, so we are back. Guys. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? 150 pounds yo when i was 140 pounds you could see it like all my cheeks was puffy like everything was puffy i can't believe i'm 150 pounds this is a healthy baby i'm pretty sure she's seven pounds gotta be but other than that vitals look good blood pressure is good they did have to draw some more blood um because there were some things that they needed and they did do a urine sample or whatever um but yeah like this is pretty this is really good like i'm really progressing really well now <laughs> this is what everybody wants to know so i am 37 weeks and three days Probably when I post this, I'll probably be four days or five, depending on how long it takes me to edit. But y'all, I am dilated two centimeters. She said I'm about 50 to 60% effaced. You know what that mean? Your girlfriend will go into labor very soon. So I'm excited about that. But what I really wanted to get into is my uh, hospital bag. I'm going to be showing you guys the hospital bag, what I have in there. So let's get to it. So I'm, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the Freedom Mom postpartum uh, kit that I have. Now, I bought this because it has a couple things in there that i know i'm going to need especially based off of the first delivery that i had with eliana there was stuff that i needed and i was like i wish i had this but now the freedom mom provided all of that for me so i'm going to show you guys that especially since it's in a box and then we'll move to the to the bag but yeah so this is what the freedom mom kit looks like it's a postpartum recovery essential kit. There are women who said that they wanted to send me postpartum natural care packages. Um, this seemed to be pretty, you know, like good as far as on a natural tip and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be using everything in here, but I know I'm gonna need majority of stuff that is in here. Um, but I just wanted to have this just to make sure um, I have this on time. So yeah, this is a bathroom recovery regimen you won't want to pee without <laughs> but yeah so it says that it has disposable postpartum underwear and there's four of those and i also bought me some um just some regular depends because i don't really know how i feel about pads and underwear and i don't want to be stuck with postpartum drop panties like <laughs> 
I was about to say draws. I don't want to be stuck with that. So I just bought diapers. Plus, it's way more secure, uh, you know, for leakage and stuff like that. And then I bought some little pads to put on the bed. Make sure that, you know, it's extra coverage on the bed and stuff like that. Just in case I bleed out or something. And But then there's a... um there's four pads instant ice maxi pads so there's four of those that's really good i'm only going to use those when i'm most absolutely need them and then there is a um, perennial cooling pad liners so there's 24 wish hazel liners in here and then there's the pre pre um, perennial healing foam uh, with wish hazel in there is five ounces and then there is a toilet top storage caddy oh that's cool yeah toilet top storage caddy um for the back of the toilet so this is like really good coming handy i'm not gonna be opening this for you guys but i might when i actually um am ready to use it and so they tell you like all the steps lay on relief on our five step post pottery you know cleanse with the upside down peri bottle but that was so separately but i'm sure i'm gonna have a peri bottle so i'm not gonna worry about it and then it says after you clean you wear the disposal postpartum underwear obviously you put the cooling and absorb instant ice pads it says no freezer if necessary no freezer necessary so you don't have to like put these in the freezer and stuff like that instant and then there's the soothe with perennial cooling panty liners and then a relief foam and then you pull your panties up so like you clean first you put the pan panties on you put the the cooling pad then you put the perennial liner on top and then you put the foam on your vagina and then you pull your pants up and so oh no you put the perennial foam on top of the on top of the uh cooling panty liner okay so yeah so yeah this is good guys I've seen a lot of women who had this, a lot of women who recommended it. So I went and got it. So now we're going to move on to the bag. This is what my hospital bag looks like. I do have a couple items that are, that are not in here. And I'll go ahead and name them off the list before we actually get into the bag. I don't have my coconut water in my bag. I have coconut water to keep me hydrated when I'm in labor. It's the best form of hydration for me personally. I did not put my dates in my bag yet because I don't, I don't want to take that whole bag of dates, but I do want to have something to snack on. So I've been eating dates lately, recently, so that I can help myself efface and dilate. And it's working, obviously. I'm two centimeters dilated, 50 to 60% effaced that's awesome ladies try it at least taking a nap ladies try it if you haven't it really does work um but i'm gonna when the time is right i'm gonna take some dates and put them in a little ziploc bag and just throw them in my bag and get ready to go um i think i have like 24 cans not 24 maybe 24 i think 24 cans or I think it's eight i don't remember but anyway i have little um coconut water uh cartons and thing like that so when i just get ready to go i'll just grab that on my way out um and what else did i not have in there um that was it that was all that i didn't have in my bag just because you know i want to wait until further along when i'm actually about to walk out the door to grab that stuff but actually i might just start like just put it away right now maybe i don't know i'm still contemplating but we'll see so yeah this is what my bag looks like and i'm gonna just open it up here so that i can go through it but first i'm gonna go through the, the front part so i pretty much have everything i needed here but i went to the store and i got me a cable a charger cable all of the times you walk out the door so fast you forget your phone charger um i do have to put my box in here but 
I have an extra box and I'm just put that extra box in my bag. But I needed to get a new phone charger anyway because my old phone charger is kind of like wearing and tearing. So um, I went and got me a phone charger so that I can continue to vlog and stuff like that. And it is six feet long so I'll be able to have some room, you know. To still record and stuff like that so i just put that on the side of my bag when i need it and then in the front here of my bag um the first thing we have is a baby manicure set and this is what it looks like and it has like the fingernail clippers scissors uh the ear dig thing uh some round tip head needles and uh a, um, fingernail file so yeah it has like all the essential stuff that i need in there if you know baby's nose is too long when she comes out but i have this thermometer here but i'm not even gonna put this thermometer in my bag i have a whole nother thermometer it's over there i think i should go get it so i can show y'all i'll go get it so yeah that last the thermometer that I showed y'all, that thermometer done been through a whole bunch of germs. So, um, I was gifted this, and this is the thermometer. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in my bag now. But this is a, a inferior forehead thermometer. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna use this one. This seems to be the most updated thermometer. Somebody gave this to me, so you know I'm. I'm not opposed as long as it could take the baby temperature I'm good so I'm gonna go ahead and just take that out the bag and put it in my bag so yeah another thing that I have in my bag is a brush uh wooden brush it was a whole set i had a whole set it had like a comb in there um this baby uh nail kit came in there um and then there was something else in there but i didn't really need the comb and all that other stuff but this is really soft i think it's bamboo bristle and bamboo um wood so like it's really really soft and it has a lot of fibers and so i know this is going to be a good brush so yeah, I actually picked this brush out myself. So I got this in my bag if I need it. And then I have a, I think this is the receiving blanket that I'm gonna use to bring her home in. So I do have this receiving blanket. It's just a plain pink plush um, receiving blanket. So I have that and so now moving on to the bigger part of the bag let's see and this diaper bag actually turns into a baby changing station so like this zipper here it expands and then there's like a compartment where you can put the baby in it and if you're in public or there's not a changing station or you're outside you can change your baby in its changing station super dope i picked this bag on myself too so thank you to who bought it for me. Uh, so the first thing I got is a blanket. Yeah, I got this blanket for Avi. This is gonna be the blanket I bring her home in. So that's really cool, really cute. I went ahead and packed me some, um, it's sensitive skin, it's citrus and white flowers, but it's like basically uh, cleaning wipes. I put me some cleaning wipes in my bag. So like if I'm at the, at the hospital or you know wherever i may when i give birth and i just feel nasty i'm gonna just pull these out and start wiping everything down and then so this is mine a tag but i'm gonna show you baby obvious first but i i went ahead and put these um extra pair of pants in here newborn i put these pants in my bag because i these are just an extra pair just in case if i stay you know at the doctor for more than what i anticipated i'll have more than one outfit and i know that the doctors are probably gonna give me a onesie white onesie or something like that so 
I just went and put her some pants and some socks in her bag. And that way I don't have like too much stuff. So yeah, this is, but this is like some regular striped pink and white pants. Really cute, really co cozy. There's a, a, a lining in the inside. So they, they are really, really warm, especially with the receiving blanket and the other blanket she's gonna have on top of her. She's not gonna need that much um, insulation. But then I also, this was her going home outfit for real, for real, for real. Um, I'm not really too amped about like putting her in an actual outfit and stuff like that. Just because she's going to be new and you know, I mean, it just is what it is. But I got some little socks here and obviously everything matches. So I got her some infant socks here. I'm pretty sure she'll probably be able to fit these. But they're super comfortable, really squishy. And then she has some hand mitts. I got her some hand mitts. And then she has this hat. A little cute hat everything matches you know got her head and then i love the fact that it has a bow on it so and i'm and i'm glad that this bow is actually attached so i'm pretty excited about that we'll see how that goes and then i just got her i wish i had a long sleeve one but i don't unfortunately but i just got her a uh, all white onesie newborn onesie to go un up underneath any clothes that she have on top of that and then i got her this newborn sleeper and this is what it looks like little feet so yeah this is my initial go home outfit i wasn't trying to do nothing too extravagant because she's new it's okay i don't mind but yeah and then oh yeah and then the last thing that i have for ivy is this uh burping cloth so like if I need it, then, you know, she'll have it, you know, especially during, when I'm feeding and stuff like that. And like I said, this is all for just going home. This is not for in the hospital. The hospital will provide me with stuff that I need, you know, when I'm actually or if I actually have to stay in there. But I'm planning on a natural birth, so probably not going to have to stay in there for long. But if I need something they'll provide it for me but this is all just going home so i didn't pack a ton of things a ton of stuff because i'm sure that they're going to send me home with stuff as well so i want to make sure that i have room for that um so something else that i have in my bag i have some ginger chews here in a ziploc bag i'm gonna also use these for snacking and then i also have some honey sticks but my doula is gonna bring me honey sticks so I'm going to use this for snacking um, to keep my energy levels up. And I'm also going to use this for um, uh, nausea. If I ever experience that and stuff like that, or if it's just too much, then I'll use these for that. But these are mainly for uh, snacking purposes to keep my energy levels up when I'm actually in labor. And then let me see if there's something else in here. Here we go there's something back here okay so yeah moving on to me moving on to mommy i just have two pair of underwear just in case i need them black pair pink pair whatever i got me some underwear that i put in my bag just in case and then i also have arnica tablets so if you ladies don't know what arnica tablets are and you during natural birth i highly suggest these um, Arnica tablets are pain relief tablets. They are natural and they work with your body. So depending on the pain tolerance, the pain level, whatever is going on with you, um, this is going to work with your body. But I don't think that it's gonna be like a end all be all, get rid of all the pain. This is just to help cope with when you're in labor. Hey, babe. Good morning, mama. Good morning. Oh, yeah. So, another snack that I have is this. I had got me some, some maple pecan glaze. Mama, mm -hmm. I wake up. You did wake up. Mama. At least up for her nap. <laughs> you up from your nap? Yeah. Mm hmm. So yeah, I got this as a snack. These are really good. But yeah, I got this as a snack for when I'm in labor. So yeah, I think I, I have more snacks down here. It's so funny. 
Um, I went and got me some honey roasted peanuts. I love honey roasted peanuts. I don't care what nobody's saying. I'm trying to be okay in my, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, I got me some honey roasted peanuts for when I go into labor as another snack. And then I also have some nip organic nipple buttercream from Earth Mama. Um, this was recommended to me. Um, so if you are a mother, put it the, put the comments down below if you've used this and tell me how it worked. I have yet to use this, but this I have some of this. And that's all for the like snacks and stuff like that. But uh, the biggest thing that I have in my diaper in my in my postpartum bag is my robe. I went and bought a robe so that I can have this robe for when I go into labor, y'all. Because I want to be comfortable and I want to be cushy and all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I went and bought a, this. It's a floor robe. It doesn't touch the floor, but it is long, so I'll be I'll be really comfortable in that. And for my last thing, this is my bundle of going home clothes that I'll be in after I give labor. I mean, after I give birth. So if you unroll it, I rolled all of my stuff in it, which I did necessarily roll my um panties in here but i got me some flip some little cushy sandal thingies like little slippers or whatever when i go into labor and then i have a regular long sleeve white shirt it's just regular long sleeve and then i have some really cozy pajama pants so yeah and this is what it looks like so yeah that's all that I have. That's I'm wipes. Inside. Wipes are inside. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look. <laughs> yeah. Let me take a look. You can, I'm, not, I'm not gonna open it right now, okay? Mom, let me take a look. But that's uh, all that I have. Mama, I stuff in there. Something is in there. Come on, let's go get some food. Come on. Okay, Mama. But let's finish this one second, okay? So that's all that I have in my going home bag. Um, and now I'm going to show you the car seat. Yeah. So wait, guys, there were two more items before I show you the car seat. Um, I had got this sample kit. It was uh, two breast milk storage bags and two nursing pads. So if I decide to um, pump in the hospital before, you know, so if I have to feed the baby, like in some point of time outside of the hospital, I'll have this. I have this colic bottle uh, just in case if I need it, if I pump. And there is a pacifier in here. It's like a first time pacifier, so there's a pacifier in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide these back in my bag. And now let's see the car seat. It has the base in it. I honestly don't even want to take it out the pack. It's so beautiful. It's the same color that I love everything. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. This car seat is so beautiful. And it already got the cushion in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this car seat, I wanted this car seat so bad. It's so comfortable. It already have the newborn pad in it. This is so beautiful. And it comes with the base. So, I mean, it's pretty heavy, but it's a good car seat. I'm not going to be carrying it. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Jabrika. Oh, look. <gasps> oh my gosh. I can keep it in the package until I'm ready to do it. Until I'm ready to take it out. This is what it looks like, y'all. This car seat is fly. Fly. This is my favorite part. This is so pretty. Oh my God. 
It's so pretty. Don't touch it with that popsicle, Eliana. Wow. <laughs> so pretty, Mama. All right, y'all. That's what the car seat look like. Mama. So now that we got everything together and everything is assemb assembled and everything is ready to go, I mopped, I did laundry, I swept, I changed the sheets, I washed the tub, I washed the dishes. We ready to go. Y'all ready to have this baby? <laughs> like y'all finna give birth. But anyway, thank you guys for your time and your support. Thank you for always being there for me when I wasn't in the best state of mind. But I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Shout out to all my supporters. Until next time.